Hi everyone. This might seem like a bit of a strange video topic, but I've received some questions over the years and recently too about how I wash my dishes using my soap, using my handmade soap. Um, we don't hand wash most of our dishes anymore because we've got a dishwasher, but um, for many years all I did to wash my dishes by hand was use my soap. And I've always got a bar of soap beside my sink that I use for hand washing things that can't go in the dishwasher or you know something that I just want to wash up quickly. So I didn't realize but I think this is actually an Australian thing. There is some Australian history and tradition in this. My grandmother used to always wash her dishes with sunlight soap which is a uh, tallow soap. It's really an iconic soap in Australia. It's yellow and it's made of beef tallow and it's a really good cleansing soap. My parents still use it. And she had a cage that the soap would go into. It looks like this. I'll just show this photo of it so you can see what it looks like. But she would put the soap in the cage and you would fill the sink up with hot water, shake the soap around in the cage, and that would put some soap in the water and then you could wash your dishes. Now, I never had one of those cages. So what I used to use was a uh, a large tea strainer and I'll show a photo of that now too so you can see it's got like a bowl shape and then um, you know you can put some chunks of soap inside and then twist the top on and you can use that to shake the soap in the water I don't have my tea strainer anymore <laughs> in one of my uh, Murray Kondo moments I got rid of it I gave it away because you know we don't do a lot of hand washing anymore um, but and I did hunt high and low to try and find one and I could not find one anywhere Looking around yesterday, but I thought I'd demonstrate just the basic process for you just using a strainer You know in a pinch you could just put some soap in a little strainer So I'm going to give you a washing up demonstration here <laughs> Just to show you exactly what I mean What I used to do is I used to use my soap, soap off cuts in my little strainer and just use that. Um, and sometimes they would go a little bit soggy in the bottom, but that's all right. You just let it drain. You just I would have a little plate that I would sit the strainer on and it would drain and dry out and it would be absolutely fine. But this is my laundry soap or my general household cleaning soap that I shared the video for last week. I'm going to just chop up a couple of chunks of that. Um, just to show you what I mean. So I would just um, chop my soap into little chunks. If you had a soap cage, you could just put a big chunk in. Um, but for the strainer, I think it works well to have smaller chunks. Okay, that's enough water. It's not as hot as I'd like it to be, but it's cold day and it took a while to come through. So basically you just get your water. <laughs> this is not rocket science people. And um, shake your soap around. Obviously if you had a lid on your strainer, it makes it easier. Um, and after you get a bit of practice at this, you get to know exactly how much to put in. So that your water is not too soapy, but it's also soapy enough. That's probably about all you need. Urgh. Just depends on how soapy you want it, I guess. But that's soapy enough. If you wash your dishes kind of Asian style, like some of my friends do, you just put the soap directly onto your sponge. You know, you might just put the soap, wet your sponge, put the soap directly on there, and then you know, hand wash the dishes and then just rinse them out. But this is the old school way that my nanny used to do it. And it works quite well. So basically, it's pretty easy. You just wash your dishes. The trick is getting just the right amount of soap in there to wash your dishes but not have a really heavy residue. And then, you know, if you dry up your dishes too with a nice clean towel, that will... Um, make them extra clean as well just depends on what what style you like and what your setup is too in your kitchen you 
can kind of feel the soapiness in the water and you can see it. Um, I actually think I need a bit more in there. So you can imagine with the cage it would work quite well. You could shake it around quite freely. Um, a bit more washing up. Anyway, you get the idea. Basically, it's just washing up. You can rinse your rinse your things off if you want to. Um, and that's about it. I just thought I'd show you that because people had asked me, how do I actually do it? What are you talking about? Washing your dishes with soap. Um, the other way that I do it is, I'll leave that in. I'll show you just put some soap on directly onto your sponge. And that's why I always have this this is just my charcoal strange rebatch soap that I made. Um, but whatever soap you've got, it doesn't really matter because you're just washing dishes. Um, the, obviously the laundry soap has got amazing lather. Such good stuff. And then, um, you know, you can just put the soap directly on things. If you've got something that's really greasy, oh, just do it like that. Or if you're washing up pots or pans or something that needs a bit of extra cleaning power. Um, I like to just wash my sink out with this stuff as well. And then rinse it off. That's kind of Asian style washing up. Well, that's what my friends taught me anyway. And if you're wondering what this is, this is a really nifty soap dish I found at my local op shop. It's got a hole in the top, so you can put wet soap on there. Somebody's handmade this, it's pottery. And it's got a little dish at the bottom where the soap water drains down. It's really cool, and it's in my favorite colors. So I got that, I think for about $2 or something. You can find cool little things like that when you hunt around in secondhand shops and things. So anyway, that's it. I hope that's kind of clarified it for you. That is how I wash the dishes, or I used to, with my handmade soap. You just need a strainer or a soap cage, or one of those tea ball strainer things, and pop it in and swish it around in your hot water and off you go. Thanks everyone, see you in the next video.